Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. And we're finally back with some more Mass Effect 3. So, what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to go into the galaxy map and... You know what? No, scratch that. It's been a while since we talked to the crew, so we're going to do that. And then I think after that, I think we'll just uh, we'll just do some exploring on the map to see like what Come missions I haven't even touched. Because I'm sure there's a few of those. Any, any emails? A memento. Let's see. Uh, from Oh, from Arya to Loke. Uh, Shepard, I had Petrovsky's chessboard uh, sent to the Normandy. It, do, it just doesn't go with the new decor I had planned for Afterlife. Arya. Nice. I'm glad I have that, actually. It's a classy chessboard. Miranda, Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to, uh, to do this in person. Can you meet me in the comments? I'll send you a nav point. No vids this time, I promise, Miranda. Ah, so we have a reason to go to the Citadel. Okay, so we'll do we'll do some some Citadel-y things. We'll definitely be doing some Citadel-y things, as well as just some sort of space exploration, because I know there's some proby things that we can do, which I haven't been really doing because... I don't know. I mean, to, to be totally honest, they're not that interesting, and they don't make... I mean, <laughs> they definitely don't make for... Decent right, videos, but oh, uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Salarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Salarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, "Oh, well, that makes me nervous." The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. <laughs> that joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. That's actually a really good point about comedy and edgy jokes. And uh, speaking of edgy, there's, uh, <laughs> there's a much, much darker version of that joke. And uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a little too much edge. I might cut myself on that edge. Not going there. <laughs> Shepard, you are staring. Uh, well, I, I mean, I've got a <laughs> got a couple of reasons Hello, why Shepherd. I might. Hello, Shepard. Wait, did she do that literally because I, the camera was just fixed and I wasn't moving? It's an interesting Easter egg. Commander. I mean, I got a, at least a couple of reasons, but uh, you know. Anyway, let's move on to the other decks. Uh, yeah, but it was what I was saying about some some of the, quite frankly, some of the shittier quests where you're just kind of going around throwing probes at planets. Uh, they're I've been kind of conflicted as if I even want to do them in this playthrough or not. Like I don't think that it really impacts things. See. Part of me wants to just forget them and move on because they're not even that interesting, you know, to even for the purpose of making a video on. On the other hand, there's this kind of completionist element in me that doesn't want to let it go, so I don't know. I'm a little conflicted. Maybe I'll do it. Eh, fuck it. Maybe maybe I'll do it. I'll, I'll do a little bit of it, but I'm not going to go too deep into it. If I have to, you know, if I have to look carefully to see where the next one is, then fuck it. Not doing it. I guess the one Citadel side quest that I'd like to get done is the, those weapons for what's his face, to uh, which should sh satisfy Arya. How's it going? Is fucking How's seriously it like nobody want to talk? No, nope. nobody wants to talk. <laughs> okay, Larry, come on, Liara, you gotta be willing to say something. Is it because I did a DLC mission? Does it, like, not count? Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. 
The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Ooh, man, that's dark. That's actually, um... I can't remember which one it was. I'm going to sound like a total doofus because I can't remember exactly which reference it was. Um, there, there was a point in history. It was, it was one of the dynasties, and I think it may have been Genghis Khan. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm getting a couple of timelines mis mixed up. I think, but anyway, it was, it was a similar idea. Like they got word that the, that this guy was coming, and like millions of people committed mass suicide just on the word that he was approaching. It was... It, it's fucking nuts. Okay, nothing new here. Good to see you again, Shepard. Anything new here? Nope. Okay, alright. Okay, so, so far nobody's got much to say. Um, if nobody else make... If nobody else... Uh, if nobody else has anything to say, I'll just do a jump cut right here um, to, to where I'm actually doing something good. Yeah, nobody else had anything to say. All right, so we're going we're going down here, and uh, we're just going to pick off some of the uh, some of the thingies. I'll be able to describe it in a second. See where you can see some of the, these missions uh, highlighting, but it doesn't have like a description. It doesn't have like the, the title poking out. We'll do some of those. Fine artifacts. Yeah, sure. Let's start there in, in, in its kite's nest. Let's go do that. And, uh... Oh, cool. I just got a new subscriber to my YouTube channel. Nice. Hopefully, they'll also subscribe to my BitChute channel. Which, actually, I'll just take this moment to remind people, for anybody who's watching the video... Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I also mirror my videos on BitChute. It would be really cool if, if you uh, came and subscribed there as well. Um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where... I found something. Oh, nice. Things are so unpredictable with YouTube. Eh? Like, you, you never know what's going to happen with them. So you never know what policy they're going to pull out of their... Uh, whatever's to that that could you know screw your channel so so anyway yeah bit shoot it's cool um okay so let's read the description for varush varush is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient batarian monarch whose emp whose empire spanned continents he had such a pension for uh for ma for mating that 0.6% of modern Vatarians claim a, to trace their lineage to him. Oh my god, because they say the exact same thing about Genghis Khan. Huh. Actually, that reminds me. Yeah, in, in a bit that I cut out earlier, I should include the little bit with Liara because that kind of ties into what I was saying. That's an interesting coincidence, actually. Yeah, yeah apparently, like, point, like a small percentage of, of people on Earth have have traces to to Genghis Khan because because he was a f fucking asshole um, but <laughs> the planet's moons are are named after his many rec recognized wives uh, the largest Bira uh, concealed Prothean, Prothean ruins that help the Batarians develop uh, FTL uh, travel it is a Batarian sorry hmm it is a Batarian... Oh, point of pride. Okay. That uh, since the ruins were damaged by earthquakes, they had less information to go on other than spacefaring uh, species. Reapers have destroyed all obvious military outposts uh, in Varush's orbit. The Batarians' notorious secrecy, however, may have allowed concealed subterranean facilities on, uh, on Varush's moons to survive. So we'll start the scanner. Yeah, so, if, so yeah, I figure we'll do, like, uh, you know, maybe just... I'm hoping I can kind of 
Weapon upgrade. Nice. Yeah, I'm, hope I'm hoping to m maybe do, you know, just, just one, maybe one or two of these episodes with the uh, space exploration, because, I don't know, it, it, it is kind of relaxing to... Ooh, uh, uh, until that happens. Um, okay. Karshan. The Batarian homeworld is wrapped uh, less uh, less in mystery than the than in Outride Lies. Batarian propaganda claims the world has uh, 15 billion inhabitants and an economy that rivals the Asari. Although the legal slave trade does not boost the Batarian's profits some, somewhat, um, oh sorry, does boost. Um, Citadel sanctions have uh, left a paper trigger of an empire. Sorry, a paper tiger of an empire? Uh, one that fights rivals through uh, deniable terrorist actions um, rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. The Reapers will likely be the death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped uh, Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the Kambuis. But Batarian refugees say that resistance has created a bond among the commoners. If a new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. Hmm. Okay. Starts the scanner. There we go. And I think there's one more artifact for me to find in this system. Pillars of Strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Oh, better escape real quick. See if I can get the last thing scanned before I leave. Okay. Reapers eluded. And then go back in. So yeah, there's one more thing I can find. Where it at? Where it at? There it is. Uh, but I better get it on the rebound. Ah! Faster okay. Than light jump successful. And I'll grab it. Oh, it's just wreckage. Okay. Well, still, I got it. Ha! 100% you have Reaper shitheads. There you go. Successful. Oh, my find artifacts are over here. Here we go. Alright, I'll find them over here. Oh, specific oh, specifically the ones over here at Vana. Vana, a large rock planet. Vana is covered in pro prodigious uh, amounts of dry ice, leaving only thin traces of gas for its atmosphere. Uranium deposits uh, drew Batarian miners to Vana long ago, and when that was exhausted, they moved on to its magnesium, uh, into its, onto its magnesium. Uh, the Reapers have examined the colony here, punching holes in the, uh, the domed cities and leaving its occupants to asphyxiate. Ah, oh, jeez. It's rough, man. But this is this is actually a little bit more interesting than I thought it would be, because you know it's kind of adding to the, the the lore of the universe as well. Black market artifacts. Oh, oh, I wonder if that's what Buddy needs on um, on uh, uh, the Citadel. General something or other, the Turian. Okay, according to that, there is one more thing I can scan, but I better exit because here they come. Oh, there it is. Reapers eluded. Okay, I'll just grab that and might as well head over to the other system. Make it, uh, make it even. Wreckage. The wreckage of it is, uh, out of here. Faster than light jump successful. What's it? So this is the kite's nest system. Hmm. Okay, that might be the, that might be the name of the episode, perhaps. And let's get over there. All right, and let's scan around here. Come on, hurry, the Reapers are coming. Scan the things. I found something. Okay, we found two things. Probably the only two things. Evasion successful. Okay, so let me grab this probably wreckage. Yeah. Okay, and that's 50%, which ooh, yeah, better. Whoa. Reapers eluded. 
One more time. Okay. A deck. <laughs> a deck is a, is a brutally hot and wet gar garden world covered with, uh, with mold... Molds, ooh, of religion and analogs. Uh, it has many uh, viruses and bacteria le uh, lethal to bacterian uh, philosophy. Sorry, f physiology. Um, uh, gold coin. Hot, hot damn, what I miss. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, wait, are you being chased by reapers on the map screen? I am. I am being chased by reapers. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Uh, you haven't missed much. I've just been doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of planet exploration, just kind of launching some probes and stuff. Uh, analog, what's it? Molds, lichen analogs. Uh, it has many viruses and bacteria lethal to batarian uh, physiology. The hegemony uh, colonized a deck uh, earlier in its expansion, but a few of the colonists wanted to stay. The result of the result was domination by a large class of landed slave owners a small uh, cadre of well well paid engineers and skilled laborers kept the planet's uh, mechs and infrastructures functioning uh, alliance estimates uh, put the planet's Britarian population just over 6 million yeah but that number has likely fallen since the reaper invasion alright let's grab the thingy which should be right over here there it is Cool. All right, so that should be everything. Let's get out of here. Faster than light jump successful. There we go. Oh shit, they're here too. <laughs> Evasion successful. All right, let me go to. Um, let me see. What do I got for time? Uh, yeah, let's see if I could work in one more system while I'm at it. Let's see, actually, how many are there? Okay, so there's one, two, three. Let's include those. Okay, so it looks like it's just those three. Alright, yeah. Yeah, may maybe, maybe we'll do all three. I'll, prob I'll probably be able to fit in one more within this episode, and then I'll have to do, like, two more in the next. Okay, first of all, let me fill that up. Let's see. Oh, wow. There's actually... Oh, jeez. There is a lot of systems. Okay, maybe we won't do the whole thing. Maybe we'll just see what this one is about then. Let's just see. Fuel reactor. Um... Land. Oh, shit. This looks like a mission. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, just a second. Actually, you know what? This this sounds like it's a it's actually a mission where we get to shoot some shit. So, actually, we'll end the episode here. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.